Hi Dash, how are you? Happy Independence Day. Did you get to watch fireworks and everything and have big blow up of stuff in the air? Well, I hope you had fun. I did. Your cousins came over and they went swimming for a while and I went swimming too. I actually took the day off and enjoyed myself. So what we're going to do now is finish off the day before my fireworks start is reading you a book and this book is called The Cow Who Fell in the Canal. See the book? So let's start reading. Okay, this is The Cow Who Fell in the Canal. Hendrika, <clears throat> that's a funny name for a cow, was an unhappy cow. She lived on a farm in Holland where it is very flat. All summer long she ate grass. All winter long she ate hay. All winter and all summer she did nothing but eat. I bet she was a chubby cow. And she gave milk to Mr. Hofstra, the farmer. Mr. Hofstra thought she was a fine cow because she gave such white creamy milk. Eat, eat, Hendrika, he would say. The more you eat, the more creamy white milk you can give me. Hendrika loved Mr. Hospra, so she ate more to please him, but she was unhappy. These are the pictures. They're kind of boring pictures. They're black and white. Let's see, there you go. See the cow there, Hendrika? And there's Mr. Hofstra and the cow. Oh, here's some colored ones. In front of the pasture was a road. Every day, Peter, the horse, came with a wagon to take Hendrika's milk to the city. Peter told Hendrika about the city. The streets are made of cobblestone and the houses have staircases on their roofs. People ride bicycles, he said. Hendrika wanted to see the wonderful things Peter talked about. She was tired of looking at Mr. Hofstra's house, the barn and the windmill. The windmill wore a little porch. It went round and round in the wind. It made Hendrika dizzy. See, there's the barn, and then there's the windmill. In the back of the pasture was a narrow canal. In the summertime, a man came through the canal with a boat to take Mr. Hofstra's cheese to market. Hendrika liked the boats. She thought it would be nice to ride to ride in a boat to market. Peter said cheese said the cheese sellers wore straw colored hats with ribbons. Hendrika thought she's a colored hat would taste so good. Poor unhappy Hendrika, she longed to see something beside the house, the barn and the windmill. Instead she ate and ate and ate, and she grew fat, then fatter, and then very, very, very fat. She grew so fat she could hardly move. She grew so fat she could hardly see. Now see, there's the horse, the cow, and the boat. And there's the windmill, and look how fat Hendrika the cow is 